Word has many page setup options that we can use. For example, we can set our margins or number our pages. In this exercise, we will first learn how to select a paper size and page orientation. Page sizes are available depending on a printer's capabilities. Pages can be oriented vertically, which is also portrait, or horizontally, which is also landscape. For this example, we'll open the Learn One learning file. Select the file menu and choose Open. In the Open dialog box, double click Learn One to open the file. After a few moments, the file appears on the screen. With the text on screen, select it by pressing Ctrl plus A. Notice that all the text is now highlighted. Ctrl plus A is an excellent shortcut for selecting large groups of text. Now, select the file menu and choose Page Setup. Then, in the Page Setup dialog box, click on the Paper Size tab. This brings up a list of options for changing the paper size. To see the different sizes, click on the down arrow button in the Paper Size field. Notice the different sizes. Choose Legal. We see a preview of the size shown on the screen. To apply the size to the document, click on OK. The paper size can easily be changed. Select the File menu and choose Page Setup. Now, click on the down arrow button in the Paper Size bar and select Executive. Then click on OK. Notice the changes in the paper. Now let's examine the differences between portrait and landscape orientation. Again, select the File menu and choose Page Setup. Currently, Portrait is selected, which is a more vertical view. Click on Landscape and notice the difference in the preview. It has a more horizontal view. Press Enter and the document is landscape oriented. However, since we usually view documents in the portrait orientation, select the file menu and choose Page Setup. Then, return the orientation to portrait and the paper size to letter. Then press Enter. To change the zoom, select the down arrow button in the zoom bar and choose 100% and the document returns to its original appearance. Let's now learn about margins, which are used to determine the distance between the text and the edge of the paper. Margins can be adjusted using the ruler or the page setup command. Let's first use the ruler. Our ruler is currently not on screen. Select the view menu and choose ruler. Notice that a horizontal and vertical ruler appears on the screen. When setting margins, it's a good idea to be in page layout view. So select the view menu and then make sure that Page Layout is selected. Page Layout View is selected, so press the Escape key to close the menu. To change, to change the vertical margin, move the pointer to the margin boundary on the vertical ruler. 
The margin boundary is the line that separates the white and gray area on the vertical ruler near the top of the document. When we move the pointer to the margin boundary, a double-headed arrow is shown on the screen. Now, hold down the mouse button and drag up or down, which changes the top margin boundary. Let's perform the same task once more, but this time hold down the Alt key while dragging. Notice that measurements are shown on the ruler. The page setup command also can be used to set margins. Select the file menu and choose Page Setup. With the Margins tab selected, we see the margin information shown on the screen. With the number in the top line highlighted, press Delete. Type 2, then press the Tab key. Notice the preview changes once the Tab key is pressed. In the next field, Type 2, and then press the Tab key. In the left margin field, enter a 2, then press Tab. In the last field, type 2. Then, click on OK. To see the changes better, click on the down arrow button in the zoom box, and choose Whole Page. Notice the changes to the document. Click on the down arrow button in the zoom box and choose 100%. The document returns to its original appearance. To return the margins to their regular settings, select the File menu and choose Page Setup. With the number in the top line highlighted, press Delete. Type 1.25, then press the Tab key. In the bottom field, type 1.25 and then press the Tab key. In the left margin field, enter a 1.25, then press Tab. Again, the preview changes each time the Tab key is pressed to show the changes to the margins. In the right margin field, enter a 1.25, then click on OK. Again, note the changes to the document. Click the File menu, then Close. At the Save Changes dialog box, click No.